Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today I will be narrating a story called Compliments and Clues. If you like these bedtime stories, please feel free to leave a comment. The story begins now. In the bustling metropolis of Grandview, National Compliment Day wasn't just a day for kind words. It was a day that brought the city together in a unique and heartwarming way. This year, however, National Compliment Day was marked by a captivating detective story that wove the values of kindness and observation into an intriguing mystery. The protagonist of our story was Detective Emma Brooks, a sharp and empathetic detective known for her keen eye for detail and her ability to see the good in people. She believed in the power of compliments to open doors and hearts that were otherwise shut. Little did she know that on this National Compliment Day, her belief would be put to the test in a case that would require all her skills. The mystery began with an unusual theft at the Grandview Museum, where a precious artifact known as the Jade Serenity, a symbol of peace and goodwill, was stolen. The theft happened despite tight security, leaving no trace, no clues, and no suspects. Detective Brooks was called to the scene. She noticed something that everyone else had overlooked. A small note left at the crime scene with a simple compliment, for the most diligent guards. This peculiar clue led her to believe that the thief was someone who knew the museum well. As she delved deeper into the investigation, she used her unique approach of giving genuine compliments to gather information. She complimented the janitor on his dedication, learning about hidden nooks and crannies of the museum. She praised the curator's attention to detail discovering past incidents that mirrored the current theft. Detective Brooks's investigation led her to a series of suspects, each with their own alibi. There was the museum's security chief, who prided himself on an impeccable record, a renowned but envious art collector, and a former museum employee who bore a grudge. The turning point in the case came when Detective Brooks complimented the museum's cafe barista on her memory for customer's orders. The barista recalled a regular visitor who always admired the Jade Serenity but stopped coming after the theft. This clue led Detective Brooks to a local art restorer, who had been overlooked by everyone. Confronting the art restorer, Detective Brooks complimented his knowledge of art and artifacts, which led to a confession. The restorer, overcome by the beauty of the Jade Serenity and fearful that it would be transferred to another museum, had taken it to protect it. He had meant no harm and was relieved to unburden his guilt. The Jade Serenity was recovered and returned to the museum. Detective Brooks's approach of using compliments to connect with people and gather clues was lauded as innovative and effective. The city of Grandview celebrated National Compliment Day with a renewed sense of its power and purpose. Compliments and Clues became a legendary story in Grandview a detective tale that highlighted the impact of kindness, empathy, and seeing the best in people. Detective Brooks continued to solve cases, always believing in the power of a good compliment to uncover the truth. Every National Compliment Day, the story of Detective Brooks and the Jade Serenity was retold, inspiring people to use compliments not just as kind words, but as tools to understand and connect with those around them. It was a reminder that sometimes, the key to solving life's mysteries lies in the simple act of acknowledging and appreciating others.